Journal Record editor Ted Struley joins us to discuss top stories in business this week. Ted, some tornado victims will soon be allowed to start reconstructing their homes. What was causing the holdup? Well, there was a holdup. There were a small number of homes that were in a floodway, and so the building code, uh, thanks to FEMA and their flood insurance policy, said those homes could not be rebuilt if they were destroyed. In this case, clearly, it was not a flood that destroyed them. FEMA ultimately made an exception, and the city is now issuing building permits so those people can get their homes back. The Bureau of Indian Affairs Osage office is being audited. Tell us about that. Right. There are a number of cattlemen and oil producers in the county who have been very unhappy with the way the BIA office there has been managed. They've been complaining for more than a year about that. Uh, the government now is stepping in and taking a look to see exactly what's been going on in that office. An energy juggernaut is enjoying an upswing in profits and production. That's Devon. They reported earnings this week of $683 million on the quarter up from 477 million a year ago so they're up some 46 percent that's a combination uh, as we saw with some of the other energy companies of higher oil prices and more emphasis on oil production over natural gas williams and transcontinental gas pipeline company has filed a lawsuit against an insurance company what's the cause of this legal battle well this goes back two or three years to where uh williamson Transco had about a $50 million loss that was insured with uh, several different companies. What they're suing for here is $3.2 million they say was never paid by one of the insurance companies that's based in the Bahamas. Road construction will continue to be a problem for Norman residents. What's going on there? Sure, well, there's a bridge over I-35 that everybody thought was just about complete until they discovered that it wasn't built quite tall enough. So they're going back in to adjust the height of that bridge before they can reopen those traffic lanes. And Oklahoma City will soon be getting a new golf entertainment venue. Tell us about that. Yeah, this is going to be a 61-stall, uh, two-story driving range just south of Quail Springs Mall. Uh, it'll also be kind of an entertainment venue with a uh, a bar and meeting space, event space, that kind of thing, and uh, hopefully a putting green as well. What are you working on for next week? We're going to take a sneak peek at the Osler Hotel, another boutique hotel by Tulsa developer Paul Corey, who did the Ambassador and the Colcord. They've now got some sample rooms up with their designer. We're going to go in and take a look at what the rooms look like and what they're going to cost. Ted Struley, editor of the Journal Record, thank you. My pleasure.